Welcome to Bedtime Stories. I'm Chrissy Hooson, a TK board member here at uh, Thornapple Kellogg Schools, and I am here to make your life just great at Thornapple Kellogg Schools. I am reading It's Not Easy Being a Bunny by Marilyn Sadler and illustrated by Roger Bolin. PJ Funny Bunny was a very sad. He did not like being a bunny. His mother made him eat cooked carrots every day. He had far too many brothers and sisters, and his ears were very big. One day, PJ decided to leave home. I don't want to be a bunny anymore, said PJ. I want to be a bear. And PJ went to live with the bears. But when the bears went to sleep for the winter, PJ could not sleep at all. Living with the bears was not very exciting. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear. I want to be a bird. And PJ went to live with the birds. PJ liked being a bird until he tried to fly. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird. I want to be a beaver. And PJ went to live with the beavers. The beavers liked to work very hard. PJ did not like to work at all. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver. I want to be a pig. And PJ went to live with the pigs. But the only thing the pigs liked to do was sit in the mud. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig. I want to be a moose. And PJ went to live with the moose. But PJ could not make good moose calls at all. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose. I want to be a possum. And PJ went to live with the possums. The possums liked to hang upside down, but hanging upside down gave PJ a headache. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum. I want to be a skunk. And PJ went to live with the skunks. It did not take PJ very long to find out that he did not like living with the skunks. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or most of all a skunk. What I really want to be is a bunny. So PJ hurried home. The funny bunnies were very happy to see him. PJ was very happy to see them. That night, PJ ate all of his cooked carrots and played with every one of his brothers and sisters. He was so happy to be a bunny again that he did not care that his ears were very big. At least everyone can see that I'm a bunny, PJ said, and not a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or a skunk. The end.